Nothing screams Super Bowl like chicken wings. And here's a little fun fact. How many chicken wings do you think were consumed in the U.S. last year for the Super Bowl? I wish I could hear your answer. 100 million, 200 million, 500 million? How about 1.3 billion chicken wings? That's enough wings if you stretched them out to go around the earth three times. It's a lot of wings. So what makes our wings special? They're pasture chickens. What does that mean? Those birds are out on the grass in the sunshine. The biggest difference I've always found with pasture wings is they're white meat. They're full of flavor, but they're not fatty and soft and gross. Just for you guys at home, this is a chicken wing, the whole thing. And today we're gonna to show you how to part them. It looks different than you would when you get it at a, a restaurant or a bar, and you could put them in the oven like this, but I want them to look perfect for you. So we're gonna show you how to part them out. It's very simple to do. Once you've done it, you can do it again, and yours are gonna be looking like they came from your favorite pub. So here's what we're going to do. Same thing we did in our turkey video. It's all about finding joints and using pressure. Take the wing, we stand it up, and right in the middle here, you're just going to cut down and pull the wing apart. Once you do that, you'll find the joint, and you're just going to cut right through it. This is the drum mat part, the one part of the wing you usually get. Put that in our bowl. Now you have the actual wing with the wing tip. We're gonna take it, same thing, right at the joint, and cut it off. Now the wing tip's gonna go here. Those are great for making stock or something like that, and this is the wing part. I'm gonna show you a few more. Chicken wings really, truly, to me, are my favorite, one of my favorite apps in general, but for Super Bowl, for the most part, they are my favorite. We're gonna bake them today. We don't want to fry them. Of course you can, you can deep fry them, you can bread them, but we're trying to be healthy this year. It doesn't mean we have to cheat ourselves. We can have something that's delicious and healthy. Same thing, find that middle part, cut right down. You use your knife to pull it apart and the joint is exposed. It's really easy. I'm not pressing hard here. I'm just finding the joints to do that. Wing tip goes there, wings go here, and then the last one. Same thing, stand it upright, use the knife to push it apart, cut right down to that joint, and you'll see the joint right here, right in between those two. It's just that simple. Um, it's funny, I talked to this French chef once who had just come to America, and he commented that it was so easy to cut through the bones of chickens here, because they were actually raised in barns. They didn't have all the vitamin D that these chickens do. So these chickens' bones are actually strong, but find those joints, use pressure, slice through, knife, nice sharp knife, You'll be eating wings in no time. So we parted out all of our wings. A two pound pack of wings yields usually about 24 pieces, which is good for a family of four. And now we're gonna put them in the oven. One little pro tip that I would like to share with you is this. Take your wings ahead of time and arrange them on a baking sheet, whatever it might be, so there's some space. Put them in the fridge for a few hours and let the skin get dry. That's going to make those wings super crispy when you put them in the oven so you don't actually, actually have to fry them, you can bake them instead. Another tip is to take your oil, we're using non-GMO canola again, because non-GMO canola, canola in general, is a high heat oil. So for something like this, we're gonna bake these at 450. You're gonna wanna use an oil like that. You don't wanna use olive oil for this type of thing. You could use avocado oil if you don't wanna use canola. Um, you know, there's some other oils, peanut oil, those things are high heat, but I like canola because it doesn't have any flavor, it doesn't have any taste to it. It's just a really good oil. And what I did here is I poured the oil into the bowl, not on the pan. If you pour all that oil in this pan, there's gonna be oil all over it. You don't need that. Number one, it's fat you don't need to be eating. Number two, it's gonna be messy and it's gonna splatter more. If you do it in the bowl like this, it coats them nicely and it doesn't have to be all over. Now we're going to arrange them on the pan. Actually, I'm gonna do them upside down first because we're gonna season them and then we're going to uh, give them a little flip and then put them in the oven. I like to separate out the drumettes, which is the piece that looks kind of like a, like a drumstick, that guy, and the wings. Just in case you know you wanna do anything with them, you wanna cook them a different amount of time for some reason, what have you. It also just looks more organized and neat and I'm not really an organized person in my life, but I like to try to be in the kitchen. At least that's what I tell people. So our drumettes are like nice and arranged, our wings as well, they're all upside down. Now we're going to season them up. You can do anything you want at this point. You can do salt and pepper, which I put out here, which is of course, maybe if you have kids, you wanna do something that has less spice to it, you can use that. I'll do a few of these actually with the salt and pepper. Um, and then I'm gonna use another little secret 
ingredient, which is Primal Palette Barbecue Rub. You've probably heard me mention this before. It's spectacular. It's gonna give them just a great amount of flavor. It's not super spicy. It's not really spicy at all. So you can use it, again, maybe even something your kids can have. And now we're gonna flip these, all right? You always wanna season both sides of whatever you're cooking, whether it's a steak, a chicken wing, anything. You wanna always season both sides. You know, equal coating of the spices is really one of the main things about cooking. I'm keeping these all facing the same direction. And I'm gonna season the other side. Just a little coating for at each one. You know, when you use something that's thin, like let's say if you were seasoning a flank steak, you're gonna use less salt or less spice than you would if let's say it was a really thick porterhouse, right? Um, on those things, they can take a lot more salt or a lot more seasoning. I saw from up high, gives you better dispersion of the spices. Now these are gonna go in the oven at 450 degrees and they're going to get flipped once during the cooking process. I'm gonna put them on the bottom rack to start, get some color on the bottom, and then we'll move them up to the top for the last five minutes and we'll show you how that looks. They're gonna go in the oven right now. We're halfway through our wings and now we're gonna take them out of the oven. I wanna show you guys the proper way to flip them and also keep all that heat in the oven when you do so. Just like when we did our turkey, the important thing is to take them out, close the oven, and then you can do whatever you want because this is all good now. Now we're gonna flip them over because you're gonna see they're gonna get that nice golden color to them, which is, it's a slippery little wing there, which is exactly what you're looking for. This is why you don't have to fry them because they're gonna be crispy enough as it is just from roasting them in the oven. You can see how nice and golden brown they are. The actual wing part always gets crispier for some reason. I think it's just got a bit more fat to it. So now they're all flipped. This is, uh, of course, gonna be important because you want them to be crispy on both sides, not just on one. Now they're gonna go back in the oven 450, another five to six minutes, and they're gonna be ready to eat. Back they go. Our wings are looking mighty fine. Took them out of the oven, they're crispy brown, they're ready to eat. One last little super secret special Mike's tip. The dipping sauce. I like to make something that's a little bit different. You can of course do blue cheese dip or whatever you prefer. I make a special one. This is Bashan's Japanese barbecue sauce. It's like soy sauce and teriyaki sauce and a little something extra action in there. That, some mayo, and a little pinch of cayenne pepper, which gives it a little warmth. It is the ultimate dipping sauce. Really different than anything you've probably had before. Most people don't know about this product. I love it. I literally put it on everything. I'm gonna have to take a little shot here. Ah, ah, ah. We have wings available for Super Bowl. We're gonna bundle up with the Primal Palette Rub as well. Have a great game day.